Art, that word, means something now that its origins in Latin, or artem, could not have predicted. Today, give anything a date, measurements, an artist's name, and you have art. Art is whatever people say it is. Artem, by contrast, was not a thing, but a level of competence, or skill. That split between thingness and skill rejoins in the work of Martin Purrier. It is one reason why being in its presence feels so confounding. The materials, evidence of a practiced hand, a form of care, suggest mastery of a tradition. These sculptures could be the works of an established guild. Yet, from what time, what era, what culture? What do they mean, or how are they used? That's the secret. We live in an age where secrets are feared. Protecting privacy takes effort and resilience. But Purrier's objects are public vessels, built for interior thinking. These artworks do not confess. Their apparent symbolism does not tell you what to think or believe. The authority of Purrier's way with materials is what persuades the viewer to hang in there, albeit with a sense of befuddlement. It's a kind of contract made of trust. The viewer says, okay, you know what you're doing, so I'll give this a try. Take Tabernacle, for example. If you peer inside what looks like a Civil War cap, you see a wood replica of a mortar. Inside it is a mirrored sphere, a cannonball. Yet the bolts on the cannon align with such specificity, this must be a particular cannon, rather than the general idea of one. Indeed, it's the Dictator, a Civil War cannon used by the Union Army in Pittsburgh, Virginia, where African Americans were put to work on both sides, at the height of their numbered involvement in the war. The hat, called a forge cap, is a dark blue-gray that oscillates between the colors, depending on the light. Navy, it happens to be, was the color of the Union Army. Gray, for the Confederates. The cap is lined in fabric called chintz, a design style from India that made its way through Europe to colonial mansions. The floor is wood. The cap's cylindrical top is glass, covered with crosshairs, a scope taking aim. The overall form of tabernacle is unique, but not for Purrier. It's like the one Barry Schwabsky reviewed in Arts Magazine, 1987, called Vault, made in 1984. Yet even then, the critic noted that the biomorphic shapes of Purrier's don't seem chosen for their metaphoric byplay. The forms are more essential than that. Or, a hat is not a hat.